So maybe you're thinking about getting a financial advisor and you're not sure what they do, especially what does a good financial advisor do? That's what we're going to talk about next. Hey, this is Mel Stubbs. I'm a financial planner with Christie Capital Management, trying to bring good content to the people watching. And today we're talking about what does a good financial advisor do? So maybe you've never had a financial advisor before and you're thinking about getting one, or maybe you're currently working with one and you're not sure if you're working with a good one. Today, we're gonna to talk about what good financial advisors do. There are a few key items that I think good financial advisors should be doing. The first thing they need is to be a great communicator. They need to be able to explain complicated things in a way that is easily understood so that you as the client can make good decisions. Some advisors talk in such high level mumbo jumbo that the average person can't follow. A good advisor has a way of explaining it so that the lay person, you know, just the average person can understand what's happening and can make a good decision for themselves. The next thing a financial advisor needs is to be knowledgeable about the subject matter. Just like in medicine, you go to specialized doctors for specialized situations. There are financial advisors that specialize in certain things as well. Here at Christie Capital Management, our specialty for the last decade or so has been federal employees and federal retirees. We understand that system and the concerns that the federal retiree has, and we know how to solve those problems. We also have a specialty in biblical financial planning. What does the Bible say about money? But there are a lot of specialists out there. Some people only work with dentists. Some only work with architects. You need somebody that is knowledgeable about your situation so that they understand your specific needs. Being a generic financial advisor that just happens to help anybody potentially isn't a great choice. You want somebody that specializes in your situation. The next thing a financial advisor needs is leadership abilities. You know, John Maxwell describes leadership as somebody that can see more than others see and somebody that can see things sooner than other people see it. If you're hiring a financial advisor, then you obviously want them to be able to see and understand more things about your finances than you see. You also need them to see the shortcomings, some of the issues that you may be facing early enough, soon enough that you can do something about it. When you develop a financial plan and then need to implement that plan, you need somebody that can lead you down that path to make sure that you'll stick with it. Your plan should be set up so that if the stock market goes down, your plan still works. You need somebody with the confidence and the leadership ability that can walk you through a stock market crash, knowing you're still in good hands because it's been thought through in advance. A good financial plan can withstand the stock market going down. Another good thing about a financial advisor is when they share your values. In, in our case, we come from a biblical worldview. We believe the Bible speaks to all situations, and there's over 2,300 Bible verses about money and money management. The advice that we give and the, and the planning that's done will come from that perspective. If you share that same value system, then you may want to work with us. There's a difference between working with a financial advisor who happens to be a Christian and a Christian financial advisor. Seeking out someone who shares your values is important. Another important aspect of a financial advisor is someone who does planning. A full financial plan that shows whether or not you're going to have enough in many different scenarios. With the income you have coming in, with the assets you have, with the spending levels that you set up, with reasonable returns based on your risk preferences, do you have enough? If you die first, does your spouse have enough? If taxes go up, do you still have enough? If the stock market does poorly for a long time, do you still have enough? You need an advisor that does detailed financial plans, because not all of them do. Some of them just want to talk about the latest and greatest investment, and they don't do any planning. From my experience, what I've seen in the industry is when a plan doesn't work and someone has an unsuccessful retirement, it wasn't caused by bad returns. It was caused by bad planning. Somebody died and there wasn't enough life insurance, and nobody planned for that situation. Somebody had a long-term care event, and it was never planned for. It's usually not because returns weren't high enough. It's because of poor planning when your retirement doesn't go well. It's usually not because you pay too much in fees. It's from bad planning. A good financial advisor does detailed planning. Hey, if you're getting value out of this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. That way you can continue to get this type of information.
Another good thing the financial advisors do is they look over your tax returns. Part of the planning we just spoke about deals with tax planning. Are you accumulating your money in the correct type of an account as far as it deals with taxes? Accumulating all of your money in an account that's going to be taxed later can potentially be a problem. Looking at your tax return, doing some tax planning, setting up a plan to shift money from traditional places to Roth places. You know, that can make sense. Is the financial advisor you're looking into, do they do this type of stuff? And last on the list is returns. For most people, returns are everything. You're probably wondering why returns wasn't first on this list. All people want to talk about is what return did you get last year for your clients? But advisors don't dictate returns. They should not take credit for good returns, and most of the time they're not to blame for bad returns. The name of the game is that you want to earn all that you can at your level of risk. Earning higher returns because you took a lot more risk that wasn't necessary or wasn't prudent for your plan does not mean that that advisor was doing the right thing. I would argue having a client's money more aggressive than they are comfortable with is doing a client a disservice. Earn all you can at your level of risk. Nobody knows when the next 2008 will pop up. Your planning and your investment selections need to be suitable to your risk level. There are different investments out there and there are ways that you can earn a little bit more in conservative investments. There are multiple options that offer different return potential. There are different aggressive options for being in the stock market. It's important to earn all that you can. But like I mentioned earlier, most retirements that fail, they don't fail because you didn't earn quite enough and you didn't keep up with the S&P 500. They failed because you didn't plan well. A scenario happened that wasn't planned for well and that caused your retirement to fail. Well, the obvious question is, if you've made it this far in the video, is do I think that Christie Capital Management is a good financial advisor? And absolutely I do. I think we provide great planning. We can show clients lots of different scenarios and how they should have enough money in each of them. We understand our clients and we can help them see that they have enough. We talk with them about contentment and, and how more is not always the best goal. And instead of just endless accumulating, let's talk about what you wanna do with this money. We like to show them that they have enough and that we can forecast through good planning that they'll actually have excess later in retirement. If you knew that you were going to have excess in your 70s, lots of extra money, would it be helpful to know that now? We talk about what they may want to do with some of the excess. For instance, do you want to give away money to kingdom purposes? Do you want to help your family? Would you like to devote your time and energy to something that you deem significant because you have enough money and you don't have to focus so much time on money? I personally think that there's a lot of value in that. Not so much return on investment and more return on life. If you're looking for a good financial advisor, we'd love to talk to you. Please go to christycapital.com or call the number on your screen and let's set up a time to talk. Until next time, I'm Mel Stubbs. We have to cut into this video to do the proper disclaimers. The purpose of this video is not to give specific tax advice or investment advice. We are going over general principles and ideas that can be used and if used correctly can save and avoid taxes. You are going to want to work with someone personally that knows your situation personally, so seek out advice from an independent financial advisor. This is for educational purposes only.